Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I am going through what I call deep dive series on the 2022 Toyota Tundra, in which I share a lot more detail than in my normal car reviews. And that's because there's so much to share and so much to talk about when it comes to 2022 Toyota Tundra. So today I want to talk about the steering effort, the steering feel, and the handling of the new Tundra. So let me decipher exactly what is happening with the steering effort the steering feel and the handling of the Tundra and show you exactly what I think is happening with the new Toyota Tundra. So in this video, I really want to focus on something that is very important to me, which is the steering feel and the handling of the Tundra. Of all the things that they've changed for the new Tundra, I would say the most noticeable change and the most important change for me is the way that it handles on the road. In fact, I am so impressed with the way that this truck handles on the road and the way that the steering feels, I would say it's the best of the best compared to the Ram 1500, compared to GMC or Chevrolet full-size truck, and it's definitely better than the Ford F-150. This is, for sure, the strength of the new Tundra. What do I mean by that? Well, when you're driving on the road, what you want to know is to make sure that you get a good steering effort when you're turning left and right, so it's not too heavy, it's not too light, but yet it provides feedback from the road surfaces. And that is a kind of difficult thing to do for trucks because oftentimes it feels very isolated. But in the case of a Tundra, I can tell that the engineers carefully calibrated and tuned the steering effort so that as you drive in a variety of different conditions, it provides just the right amount of input from the road. It's not super heavy. I do wish that there was a little bit more weight and heft to the steering, but it's actually quite communicative and I don't have any problem figuring out exactly which way the tires are pointed. Keep in mind that for 2022, they did move from hydraulic steering to the electric steering, and oftentimes that leads into uh, less effort and less uh, communicative feel for the steering. But in the case of Tundra, the steering is definitely better. Not as heavy as the way it was before because that was hydraulic, but it definitely is more agile and sharp and precise than before. In fact, when you have to make a quick lane change or go through sharp corners, uh, the truck stays very agile, stays true to the road, and uh, you know what? It feels more confident than before. I do want to tell Toyota engineers, if they're listening, to please give us just a little bit more weight to the steering because it's a little bit numb and it's a little bit light for my taste. But for most truck drivers, they're going to find it just feeling right. But don't take my words for it. Take the Tundra out on the road, go through some twisted turns if you can, and then right after or right before that, go and drive the competitor's car the Ford F-150, the Ram 1500, and the GMC and the Chevrolet Twins. And you'll notice that the steering effort on this is actually really good. I will say that when it comes to the, the weight and the steering effort, uh, it's hard to beat the GMC and the Chevrolet Twins. They have a really good feel uh, in terms of the heft and the weight. And that's a benchmark for me, and I wish the Toyota would compare to GMC trucks, which I'm sure they did, and then just make the steering feel a little bit heavier. Now, one thing that's interesting to share is that uh, the Tundra shares its platform, as you know, with the Lexus LX and Land Cruiser, as well as a new Sequoia coming up. But only the Land Cruiser 300 series kept the hydraulic steering. Everyone else moved on to electric steering, which we call EPS or electric power steering. So that's kind of interesting thing. And I haven't driven the new Land Cruiser 300, of course, because it's not sold here, but I would assume that the steering effort on a new Land Cruiser 300 would definitely be better because in most cases, hydraulic steering always feel a little bit more natural and feel better than electric steering. So now I am on the road with the 2022 Toyota Tundra and because they uh, moved away from hydraulic steering to electric power steering or EPS, obviously the steering effort and the feel is never the same. It's almost impossible to replicate the feeling of hydraulic steering with electric power steering but they've done a better job than I expected. 
like I said earlier, the best part of the new Tanjira is the accuracy and the preciseness and the quickness of the steering. When you make the steering left and right quickly like this, uh, the body obviously moves around quite a bit because it's a big body with a soft suspension. Uh, but surprisingly, the head of the truck points exactly where you point it and in much sharper and a faster way than I expected in a full-size truck. Most trucks have a really, really numb steering, but also very slow steering response. But in this Tundra, wow, they've done a great job and it kind of feels like a large SUV than a large truck, which was, I think, intended. So even around the corner like this, surprisingly good. It stays true to the road, stays uh, well planted, uh, it tracks well, and the truck, generally speaking, feels very controlled which is a definite improvement over the 2021 version of the Tundra. But that truck was kind of over the place when it comes to handling, steering effort and steering feel. Uh, although I still do like the hydraulic steering of that uh, previous generation Tundra. So this one is definitely improvement. I would uh, take this over the 2021 and earlier Tundras in terms of having a bit of a fun to drive factor. It's a truck after all, so it's never going to give you the type of uh, fun to drive factor that uh, maybe a sportier crossovers or SUVs might do. But you know what? This is surprisingly good. I don't mind driving this day to day and be able to uh, take it even for a bit of uh, off-roading because of the preciseness of the steering and the predictability of the steering and the fact that it gives you the confidence level that uh, perhaps the earlier Tundra did not offer and did not have. I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that Toyota engineers will continue to calibrate this Tundra in terms of steering effort, in terms of the drivetrain, uh, transmission, all that stuff. So it should continue to improve and I can see in a year or two most likely it will become one of the best handling trucks out there once all the tuning and calibration is complete. Because in terms of pure handling and in terms of pure steering effort and accuracy, it already is one of the best trucks out there. So I just wanted to focus on the steering effort and the handling on this particular video. But that's all for now. I'm going to go through more deep dive series and talk about other aspects of the Tundra. So please stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. Thank you so much for watching. I'm signing off for now.